we already live? All right, cool. Yeah, we, we just freestyling, so I gotta go live. Man. I'm not gonna play Zombie Walk though, but Zombie Walk by Designer. I, that was my shit. I love that song. Yeah, I'm trying to go live. You ain't never walk with no zombies. Nah, I don't want to walk with no fucking zombies. I I have walked with zombies. You fucking, I worked in Camden, so. You was a zombie last week. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) You was a zombie last week at the game night. No, I was was fucked up. Did did you see when he walked away? He hit you with the. Somebody, uh, please. (laughs) Yeah, he's trying to go. If y'all don't know, Kev pieces in the podcast, and he will piece you in real life as he's walking away. (laughs) I Walk actually away. met I met his trainer online. I met his uh, trainer. Who Kev, Kev, the peace trainer? trainer? Yeah. He's in the Peace Corps. He's, uh, he's talking about that nigga. That oh, nigga, that nigga, he said, yeah, I seen the video. Yeah. That that nigga, shit is hilarious. Did you go live on Instagram? I did. If not, yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go back. No. Oh, make sure that y'all said it so uh go go from somebody else's go from I'm your, going for my job. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, are you able to do it from uh uh, the uh, the page that we have too, so the people who are posting on the page, we can see their comments. Yeah, I do that shit all the time. I try to do that. Look at us. Look at us. Facebook. You We're know, so prepared. You know, we, I don't. Yeah. Talk, Go ahead. I don't understand why people We're think so like this is some fucking professional <laughs> fucking podcast, but it's really not. It's well, not a professional. Kev, you're a professional man. Last time I checked on you, you was definitely a professional man. Last time I checked on <laughs> you, it's <was> crazy. <laughs> like, I know you're a professional. I know your profession. I oh, love you, last too. Last time I checked on you, you was a professional man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the love. I, I am. I, no, I'm not professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not professional at all, no. Not well, a, that sounds crazy, but that is the funniest shit in the world. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> trying to be professional I was like, well, and then I transfer it over to as a professional wait. man. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I feel that's like that nigga. <laughs> that's what, I feel like a you I don't know Miss Doubtfire. All right, it's, all right. it's, it's about to be twenty. I don't we work do well that. with the males because I, I used to be one. one. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is the funniest shit in the world. Fuck said that. Miss <laughs> Doubtfire. <laughs> you know, he doesn't. Re- he doesn't remember. That's a classic movie that will never go away. It's like Home Alone. I don't work well with the males because I used to be one. Yeah. That's, that's when he was trying to get. He was trying to like. Defer them from hiring anybody else. So yeah, yeah, because he was like, he wanted to be with his kids. I remember that shit. Yo, yeah, that Miss Doubtfire was funny. Every time that bitch hit her face with the cake, that (laughs) shit. (laughs) Yeah, classic shit. Like, like yo, I would just because I would just talk about homework. I was just watching that shit with my kids, Mm -hmm. and they just like left the room. The little kids. So I'm just in the living room by myself watching that shit. I'm in that bitch crying like I was when I was little don't kid have laughing. The same, uh, it doesn't affect them the same way as it did us because the movies that we watched back what? in the day, I felt like catered to us at the time of the things that we did. We went outside, we we adventured life. You know what I mean? The shit that he got, yo, a dad like that throwing a birthday party for you against the mom's wishes, motherfucker had a zoo in their house. What are you talking you know about? I mean, on Miss Doubtfire. You don't remember? Nigga, I'm talking from? about fucking Home Alone. Go ahead. Home Alone. He's talking about Home Alone. That nigga, that nigga. Yeah, he was wilding. He was wilding with the zoo in the house, dog. I'm yeah, sorry. I was going to say. He deserves to remember that shit. Home Alone was just a movie of negligence. <laughs> <laughs> a movie of negligence. It was. Yeah. Yeah. These are terrible. Bad. They were terrible <laughs> parents. This is going to jail. They were awful parents. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, we went to Paris and left Kevin at home. Wait, what? Yeah. Hey, y'all and, niggas and, Kevin. And yeah, and couldn't get back. And <laughs> you couldn't, know, get back. And couldn't get back. But the thing is, y'all niggas got on the plane. At what point do you not count your kid walking through that gate? Like, yo, yeah, Here's not bones. once, Here. not once, but twice. Let me let me break it all down for you. Also, understand all those people there weren't their kids. They nah. had, they yeah, had but they all were together with their and children. sisters. I get that. The fact that she never decided, like, yo, let me make sure my kids is here. Okay, bud. Okay. You know, let me make sure mine is here. She didn't do that. She's she relied on somebody else to do that shit. She was a piece uh, of shit. Hey, you are she, like she designated it to another kid. Yeah. <laughs> she you designated, don't designate it. You don't designate your, and that nigga was like five in that movie. He was young as shit. He said five. Yeah, he was an he asshole. Was little. He was an asshole, but the rest of them was assholes too, though. 
Oh yeah, they was fucked up. They were out every every time I see the, the the one where he had to sleep with the pissy cousin. It just reminds me of cousins that got that piss in the bed that nobody wanted to sleep with at grandma's house when he came over. Like, yo, I, look, that nigga got to have his own bed. Cousin. I don't got that cousin. Tell me who your cousin was that did that. Oh, I got I got brothers that did that. <laughs> I got two brothers. <laughs> them, niggas was, them niggas had their own bed. It go the fucked up thing, right? At my grandma's house, right? We used to stay at my grandma's house. My grandfather did not like my brothers who pissed the bed to sleep in his good bed on these good blankets. So me and my one brother said, hey, we had our own, we had the back bed it was comfortable ass bed. We, we got to sleep on that shit with the good blankets and everything. My grandfather got a, a old ass was a cot. One of the metal cots out of the basement, no mattress on that shit. Right. Took a suitcase, an old flat suitcase, laid that shit across the metal spring. <laughs> Put a sheet on that shit and put both my brothers that pissed in bed on that shit and made them sleep on it. I'm trying yeah. to picture what this is and I don't understand. So he got a suitcase, bro. And they slept. I'm on gonna break it down to you. The first, first thing he got a cot. One, I'm trying to understand. Old, you know, a cot. One of them yes. old school Vietnam cots with the fucking. <laughs> it got metal bar. It's like it's metal. It's like a metal mesh yeah. underneath. Like sleeping on a gate. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. on top. So yeah. he puts that's what that's they, they're that on the he, fence for real. <laughs> for real, that's what's down. <laughs> Instead of having a mattress to go on this cot, this nigga finds a suitcase <laughs> that can lay flat. Like it's one of these old suitcases. He unzips it so it lays flat across the metal part. So the kids not laying on the metal, they actually got a piece of fabric between them to lay on. But it's a suitcase, it's an old ass suitcase. That just like folded open. Drawing? Are you talking about a leather one? It's like a canvas one. No, nah, my dad used to have. You one. gotta well, understand. Yeah, this he is, don't this mean is... the suitcase. He means like the bags. A garment because bag. The suitcase has the garment bag. Yeah. Square. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the garment uh, bag. Inside. You get a That's nineteen a nineteen seventy eight garment bag. Mm. Okay. <laughs> just think about that shit. He places that on top of the cot, on top of the fucking Kalen. So the floor is really the floor is is where it's at. No, he they, they was sleeping. Put he wasn't sleeping on his floor. Then he, he puts a sheet. Want the carpet pissy. Then he puts a <laughs> then he puts a sheet over top of that shit. Say they'll be all right. And they then they had to sleep on that shit. Them niggas got no sleep that night. They cried and <laughs> all night long twisting on that bed till my mom got there. I was sleeping. Well, my mom sleep. came in there flipping like, "What the fuck is that you got?" They ain't pissing up my beds. <laughs> I mean, yes, we're not going to do that. That's before they was having them. Unless you had plastic already ready, that's before they had those bed covers that everybody got if you pissed a bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm we all know because I got I got nieces. But, and yeah, yeah. for some reason, for, for me, I feel like girls are more prone to that shit at a at a at an older age, like where they pee the bed. And you be like, why are you peeing the bed so much? Like, why is that something that you do? You know what I'm saying? I, don't so, know. I haven't had that. Uh, I mean. It's a my thing. Kids haven't gone yeah. in the bed since they were young, young. I mean, even my youngest, she ref- she'll wake up in the middle of the night and walk through the dark to go to the bathroom. I would, oh, I would think that that's what it does. It's supposed to wake you up. Yeah, yeah, but a lot uh, of kids don't they don't want to walk through that darkness. No. Remember what the that. darkness was like no. when you were a kid? You had I to was, get from one point like, to I the other. Bathroom, it was like an adventure of horror. I was scared of the Incredible Hulk. I remember. I mean, it doesn't Nigga. doesn't necessarily mean it stopped you from going to the bathroom. It it's did. a hard walk. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Jay was holding it till no. he had complications. <laughs> Tell me. Bro, I would hold, I would hold my shit just... to the morning. I could still do it. But I was scared of it. That's when Lou Ferrigno was on TV as the Incredible Hulk. I was fucking terrified. My brother, my brother <laughs> going to hate my brother, my brother gonna hate me for this one. But we <laughs> had... Um, to this day, Drew. he's in an apartment yeah. complex, right? Yeah. I thought he the was just was lazy. lazy. I thought the nigga was waiting in the hallway <laughs> to smash. He I thought guess Lou Ferrigno was waiting. He thought Lou Ferrigno was waiting. I, in the hallway I, I swear on everything I love. That's the one he was going to hawk smash. I thought, Dre. I thought Lou Ferrigno <laughs> was in the hallway waiting, so I would literally wake up and I would look down the hallway. Like if from my bed, and I'm like, I ain't going down there. Fuck that. Hey, the Lou Ferrigno, you're down Ferrigno. there waiting down there to take me. <laughs> Yo, the nigga to be watching Lou Ferrigno. Like, didn't that show go off in the 70s? So I'm guessing that's when you had your no cable phase that you would just catch the incredible hawk on TV. 
I mean, we all had the little little shit oh. that you were scared of the random shit. You know what was? I was an adult. I realized that that was dumb as hell. But that was just me being a kid. When I was younger, I used to be scared of the the coyote howling on "Hey Dude," the TV what? show. I don't know why, but when that Weird. motherfucker howl, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Wait, "Hey Dude." Was when the, did it have when did it have it howling? I remember hey it was at the end of the theme song and it was it was like a hard yeah, it was yeah it was it used to freak me out. I used to turn the volume <laughs> down like nah it was nah. like looking around <laughs> yeah because uh, hey dude in the in the in the winter time that shit came on at 4 30 it was dark. Remember yeah, when you was younger, it was darker at one point oh, yeah. than it was now. At 4.30, 5 o'clock, it'd be pitch dark outside. Yeah, it should be black outside. Hey, dude, come on. It's dark in my crib, dark in my room. I'm watching TV, and then you hear that howl. You turn around, like, what the fuck? Coyotes. Got everything. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to tell you what scared me. It was this movie called Creepers or some shit like that. I guess it was like at an amusement park, and they had these little fucking rare little monsters, right? And the one dude... Went in the bathroom like to hide from the monster and sat on the toilet and the monster came up and like bit his nuts. That wasn't creepers. Scream. That was uh, what was that? What was it called? Uh, you were scared of toilets after uh, that. Not that yeah, was yeah. an attack of the killer clowns. It was so. Oh, oh hell no! We ain't gonna talk about that. Nah, but that nigga, was, I, was, I, used to, I think it might have been attack of the killer clowns. So, no, it was attack of the killer. It was creep something, creep something, creep, creep something. show, creep, creep show? show, creep show, nigga. When I after I seen that movie. I would literally stand off you the toilet shit, to boy. take a shit. Like I would flip the toilet seat up. You still do and have it off the toilet to take a shit. I would not <laughs> sit on the toilet. Yo, for like a year, I would not take a shit on the toilet how as the fuck, a kid. How the fuck would you get your dookie in the bowl? Niggas a Nigga, fucking you dookie sniper. The toilet seat, you flip the toilet seat up, you put your arms ghouly the whole ghouly. The bowl, and you looking down. It was you just ghouly. looking down like trolleys, yeah. Ghoulies, Nigga, I cannot ghoulies. take a shit, dog. I, so <laughs> I was so scared. His own name. I was so scared that yeah. the monster was going to come up. I and had fight to look that shit. up, but when I looked it up, it showed a picture. It had ghoulies, but it had the monster coming out of the toilet, looking like. <laughs> so yeah, because after it attacked him, the monster made this crazy weird face. It was a little, he looked like a little turd it's, monster too. Yeah, because he bit nuts, fucking gay ass monster. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga, I cannot shit on the toilet. I couldn't shit on the toilet. <laughs> he was year. he was confused. He said. Did I just do that? <laughs> am I, he looked at his monster buddy like, am I gay now? <laughs> like, what should I do? Do I register? <laughs> do I register is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Do that I join the, the gay monster coalition of, <laughs> of the galaxy? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. No, nah, that, that shit, the, the clown shit though, bro. I think we talked about it before, but that's probably the scariest shit I've ever experienced in my life. No, other, we never talked than, about um, that shit. Other than the puppet jump, the puppet master too. Yeah, that, that, that uh that that attack of the killer clowns, that shit fucked oh, up carnivals God. for me back in the day. Fucked up everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you know when a carnival came to town, he was all yeah, yeah, yeah. all they should always happen in a carnival, attack of killer clowns. Next thing you know, these mothers is, uh these motherfuckers are turning people into cotton candy balls. Oh, I remember that shit. And they look yeah. menacing. Yeah, look yeah. menacing, yeah, they were bro. Goodness gracious, that shit was scary. What are we talking about today? Killer clown. That's what we talk. We just talking about random shit. It's New Year. Clown. Clown. Random New Year. For the for the, for the for the for the last day of the year. Um, today, is, today is one, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. That's crazy. Mm. What are we gonna do, yo? What are we gonna do in honor of one, two, three day? <laughs> You don't like we that? Go to, we go to Kev house and get lit. I am there in spirit because I have no you friends. Left, you left us. I'm going to be we're gonna, with we're my we're wife. Gonna talk about our, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about our failures in fucking elementary school. Like, uh, oh, man, I've got very minimal elementary, going elementary, going elementary going memories. Going nah, deep. I got one dog. It was at Chiselhurst Elementary School, second grade. Dog, we was it was supposed to be supposed to go out for recess. It was a nice day. And we was practicing spelling words. And nigga, nobody in the class can spell of. O-F. Nigga, I okay. got, she got to me. I was so fucking confident that I had this fucking word. I'm like, I'm going to make, I'm going to save us so we can go to recess. 
She said she was pissed. She had her hand on her face. I raised my hand confident. She just put her hand on her face and just pointed to me. I said, I stood up like, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I already know where it's going. Yeah. <laughs> of. Kev so clapped himself. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. This is when teachers can call kids shit like harsh words. This, mind you, this Whoa. is 1992. She said, y'all are all she called you stupid. Retar- retar- no, retarded. <laughs> she called us retarded. She was right. <laughs> yeah. I just want to let you know that. She was right. Yeah. Y'all dumbass kids as gathering Kev- in one place. As Kev looked out the window and they had the paper <laughs> blocking the window because the kids couldn't look inside. <laughs> Yo, no, it was... was I think it did that shit from, I think it did that shit from the trailers out back. Yo, no, but it was mad people <laughs> in that class. It was, it was me. It was me in that class. The violence, <laughs> Yo, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop stitching on all the old I don't care. All, the all these niggas in the class with me. Joe, she well, called Joe, Joe Coleman was in my class. Remedial Joe was in it. <laughs> all of us was in this bit. See, this is why all y'all ret- the R word. I ain't gonna say it. This is why all y'all here. <laughs> Yo, nigga spell O F. Nigga, one nigga got close and put two F's on the shit. Like nigga, that's all. Nigga put O F S. I'm like. Oh, well, bro, I'm like, ask. yo, bro, that shit was so pathetic, dog. That goes for her teaching, though. Like, you didn't teach them right. It's two letters, and you couldn't teach them that. You should look at yourself, lady. How many fucking spe- tracing spellings did y'all do where she fucked that up? You got to think about that. Nigga, because you got to think, bro. You have to think. Back then, like, kids don't sound out words now. They just it's sight words. Back then, you had to sound out your words to fucking say them. So I'm sounding this. I was yo. You should have seen how fucking confident I was. The fucking spell O V E. I was like, I mean, I get it. <laughs> but phonetically, I get it. But I was like, that's ninety two two nine words. years old. Dog I was a nine year old kid. <laughs> her ass went right to her list and said, "We know where he's. We know we got to place him." <laughs> all y'all, all y'all that fucked up. She put y'all right in the remedial class from there. Oh man, <laughs> right there. Kev knew how that school was. Like it wasn't like it. It was no, like third. Like it was such a small school. Like all the second, it was maybe like two second grade class, two first, two kindergarten. It was a small school. You know, Kev, Kev was in the third grade about Chislehurst, and this ain't no shade. This we were kids. All shade. God rest her soul. Uh, we had a. Math teacher, I believe her name was Miss Miss Gardry. Okay, and what it was one of my favorite teachers, but but Miss Gardry had breasts like missiles. So oh, I remember straight. her. They were straight, and Dre, I promise you, I was in fifth grade. I promise you, when she would come to sit over your shoulder to teach you something. One of them sat on your shoulder like a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> would you would you grab it? No, and say kaboom, <laughs> kaboom, Miss Godry. <laughs> but <laughs> but for, I'm t- nicest person in the world, though. I mean, yeah. you know, people with big titties usually are a prominent mm-hmm. black woman. You know, what I mean, she was definitely um, a sweetheart. She did her job to the extent, but I remember not, not with Kev to this uh, day. <laughs> no, Kev wasn't in her class. I, told you I, 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 I remember <laughs> seeing in the hallway. He's calling Mr. T. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So you're they, telling me at they were eight, straight at eight. Y'all calling this Miss, Miss Middleton, Miss Missile City? <laughs> <laughs> That's what eight eight year old, bro. I did not. I did, not, year olds. I did not call her that, but I called um, it remember titties, the nuclear titty. I the do nuclear... remember when we when, when you fits. see them, them shits were I mean I love no disrespect. They were but they were they were they were yeah. big, but they were straight, bro. They were straight. She you know what I mean? Perk, like direct perk to them damn things. No, nigga, them shits whatever like two she rockets. Used, whatever uh bra she used. Damn. <laughs> Put this up. She was pointing in any direction. With bra on. That was the thing back when we was kids. The girl, the girls' what? moms making them sleep with their bra on so they shits don't sag. It was a thing. Yo, you ever think about how many of the teachers that you had are definitely long dead? Damn, don't say oh, that. Yeah. I think about, no, think about that. Like they were. They you could were ten years old. 
and yeah, they're old years, that. They were 40 years old yeah. almost 50 when they were teaching us. We were 10. Now we're 40. You ever think Can't about that? Hell yeah. Kev, remember this teacher that she was an old teacher? You remember her. She was a sewing teacher, I think, at the junior high. She used to have uh sewing teacher. She she used to have liquor in her uh oh she also in her desk. Cooking, she used to get right? drunk. She also <laughs> teach cooking class too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah she used glasses. to get drunk during the day. She was mean. So she clearly had a problem. She, she was, was a mean drunk. She was mean. Look, Kev, Kev, your rival certainty yeah. idols. Although, <laughs> Yo, I mean, nigga, <laughs> Kev would tell you I mean, by seven, eight period, because... this bitch was blasted. Yeah, yeah she, she had mean. a problem. Right. She passed it to you. Nah, she uh, passed that shit to uh, Everybody uh, knew who this bitch was. Nick, yo, how we found, how I found out. I'm just saying. One day in her class, she was in the class. This how fucked up her class was. Everybody knew she had drink of fire. Said, you know what? Nigga opened it, I think nigga I found open. the next 30 years of my life. <laughs> nah, fuck you. <laughs> 10 years old is crazy. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> in her as soon as she leaves. When she wow. get that sewing kit, I'm gonna get the drinking. <laughs> niggas pulled, niggas went in that drawer and poured that, pulled that bottle out. It was in class, running around class with her liquor bottle. She went the fuck off. She went crazy. That's my mom cool. had her. This I owe she was. My mom had her as a teacher, yeah, and my dead. mom remember her drinking in fucking class and in school. Yeah, she's so been doing that for a while. She's very yeah. Dead. She yo, she's dead, but she used to have. She used to be <laughs> fucked by a period. She fucked up. Like how they didn't fire this lady? You drunk as shit at she eighth had, period teaching class is beyond me. She had eighth tenure was in middle school. Day. She was ready to go. <laughs> she had tenure in middle school. Yo, what's the worst thing a teacher ever said to you? Get the get the fuck off the monkey bars, you stupid motherfuckers! Somebody told you get off the Kev? monkey bars and then called you stupid. I can't remember him. The dude that used to, the gym teacher used to uh that mean ass gym teacher that used to cuss at us at the junior high. Remember the monkey bars that used to be in the gym in seventh grade as soon as you came out the boys' locker room? What teacher was at, mean? at Edgewood? He was a he was a gym teacher. Because you remember it was him, the nigga that used to brush his hair backward and had the backward waves. All right. It yo. was him. And that, it was tells, another, that tells me enough. But is it and it was another old guy with him? He was just mean as shit. And we was playing on the monkey bars. Every day we would come out the gym room, out the boys' locker room, the monkey bars was right there because you never had to do the fitness test. So we would just jump on the monkey bars and be swinging, doing all kinds of shit. He said, get the fuck off the monkey bars, you dumb motherfuckers. I had nigga who who was was cool back well, who, in the day. Well, who, who, who was the worst thing you ever heard, though? Who was buff as hell, the black ball teacher who was buff as hell. And I can't remember the last, uh, the white teacher name, but he was cool, too. What's the worst thing you guy. ever heard, though? What's the worst thing you ever heard from a teacher? Oh. Worst thing? Um, I was called a piece of shit. <laughs> God damn. Like, just a piece of shit. Who called you that? To a lot of fights back in the day. <laughs> well, you were a piece of shit, I, of course. Yeah. But what happened? This was in elementary school, though. I had gotten. Oh, he in... saw it early. <laughs> <laughs> it was my principal. Uh, I had gotten to a situation in school one time, and my grand my grandfather was on the school board, and at one point, my grandmother was a teacher at elementary school. Uh, God rest both their souls, and. I got into a situation. I was in the office, and I remember him calling me a piece of shit. But he said it like, like you know how you trying to say some shit, and you know, ain't nobody around because you're in the office, but you still say it, so you making sure nobody can hear you. He got real low on the desk. He had his hands pretty much like this, and he got real low. And he was like, "You know, you're a real piece of shit." <laughs> he was right. <laughs> <laughs> But I tell you, whatever happened that day, my grandmother oh, came up there that day and lost it on him. Lost it. Okay. And he never spoke to me like that ever again. Ever. Yes. He barely even spoke to me. Like, so I don't know what she said behind them closed doors. She might have called him a piece of shit. <laughs> she might have called him. Yo, I can I tell you. Know. I can but tell you. I remember, I remember when she came up to school and I left it. I still got my ass whooped. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I got my ass whooped when I got home. We're getting in trouble. But but the feeling of 
of somebody coming in in the defense and shutting shit down. That was the first time I ever seen somebody shut shit down in a school. See, that, and, oh, and 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 then I ain't never seen somebody slam a door open before that. <laughs> they open the door and it slam. Boom. Yeah, I know. Come on, right. Kevin. Come on. Let's <laughs> it go. Ain't even that. It's this. Like, no, no, right. she was hot. She ain't no hint. Just, just as she walked. Come on, Kevin. Let's that make go. that make this worse. That's when this come out. Mm-mm, when they shit. when they hot, this come out, and you be like, oh shit. Because then she got to stop the movement. You know what I mean? She's she has to walk past me to get out. She ain't gonna go like this. So I got to go towards the office. Either she way. out out of here. She walked past me. Let's go. Let's go, Kevin. I'll, I'll okay. tell you. I'll tell you the worst thing that somebody ever said to me, and I still think about it to this day. And it's not going to mean shit to y'all, but it meant everything to me. And I thought it was fucked up. So the guy told me that my art teacher told me that I was definitely going to go to Germantown High School. I was in middle school. Now, here's why it hurt. I did not want to go to Germantown High School. I applied to to, uh, Kappa, uh, which is the the art school in Philly and shit like that. And I I knew I wasn't going to get in. So, like, I was worried. As a kid, I was worried, and I didn't want to go to Germantown because I know Germantown is where all the pieces of shit was going to go. So, like, if Kev was from Philly, he would go there. And if, (laughs) but that's where all the pieces of shit was going to go. Sorry, all the fucking dudes who was trying to beat me up or whatever. Like, all the pieces of garbage (laughs) went to Germantown. So I was like, I don't want to go there. And I confided in the art teacher, and was like, Yeah, man, I don't want to go there. I don't know what to do. This and that and the third. And he was like, you know, telling me like, yeah, well, you can do this, that, and the third, boom, 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 boom. And I was talking in class, and this nigga looked at me when I was talking in class and said, you going to Germantown? And he yelled it at me. And I'm like... <laughs> mm, that was a, a nice way of him calling you a piece of shit in front of the class. That really was. It was like... Yeah. I don't know. I that might have been but he, but he didn't say it like that. The reason why I didn't say how he said it, because y'all wouldn't have got it. He said, because they called Germantown the G. He said, <laughs> he looked at, I swear to God, and yelled, the G. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was so fucking mad and hurt. I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> I just confided in you, my nigga. Like, you just gonna look at me and say, the G. <laughs> like this, though. Like this. Wait, wait, were you answering a question? No, nigga. Like, I'm just talking in class. Like, I'm talking. Like, I talked a lot in class. So, like, yeah. that's what I got in trouble for is talking. Yes. But, like, I'm talking, and he, I guess he got pissed off at me and then wanted to rub it in my face <laughs> that I had to go to Germantown. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I know you did. But my thing is like, bro. And guess what? Yo, I never went there, bitch. I went to a charter school. The yeah, first, well, first yeah. charter schools, nigga. Proved them wrong. Proved them wrong, nigga. Fuck you. That nigga said, uh, yeah, nigga. shit. You know, that's what happened to me. <laughs> that was cerebral. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga hurt my feelings, yo. Everybody looked around at you, too. Like, yo, because they, and... they ain't know what he meant. They ain't know what he meant. <laughs> just, just me and my homies because I was talking to my homies about them niggas was going to regular them niggas was smart so they was going to good yeah. schools so just me and my just me and my homies knew what he was talking about they laughed at me <laughs> when it happened they just started laughing brought out laughing oh uh, yeah yo, here let me go back let me real quick real quick because this got me going yo everybody I knew in um other than my nigga Jamil other everybody I knew in in, in elementary school all y'all pieces of shit Y'all were the worst people. Why? The worst. They just were. They were the worst kind of people. I don't know why. Like I had a good friend. His name was Jeff, and he was just he's the he was the worst person. He was like a little piece of shit. <laughs> what made him a piece of shit? So he would do shit like this, right? Say, you know, you kids, you ain't got gum on you because you don't buy gum. If your breath stink, he would just like you hey, be talking to him. Gun. No, he wouldn't hand you a piece of gum. That's nice. He would scream out, your fucking breath stink in front of everybody. So everybody knew your breath stunk. <laughs> when, when, when the teacher said the G, nigga just bust out laughing at me, like point laughing. <laughs> Pieces of shit. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like everybody from that school was a piece of shit. They Yo, were man. terrible people. You had embarrassing moments in high school. I had one. That dog. was middle school, like, but go ahead. Middle school. I had one in middle school. Like, like I said, my brother pissed the bed, right? 
So I had these pair of jeans. Like, I didn't have a lot of clothes, but I had these pair of jeans. They were the flyest pair of jeans I had. With them shits, my mom didn't wash laundry. And them shits was in the laundry basket. And I'm looking at them shits like, yo, these shits ain't, ain't no stains. Ain't no ketchup stains. Like, I'm wearing these jeans today. I'm not wearing them fucked up jeans. I'm going to get clowned if I wear these shits. Put these fucking jeans on. Just snatch them out the laundry basket. Put them shits on. Went to school. I'm sitting in class and people just like, damn, what's that smell? Like, what the fuck they talking about? Damn, y'all smell that? Like, like, somebody smell like piss. Fuck. So I did this the slide move. I dropped the pencil on the off the desk and smelled. <laughs> You smelled your nuts. <laughs> I think it was my jeans. Yo, it was me. The jeans smell like piss. It I'm like, me. Oh. Why they smell like piss, bro? Somebody pissed because, in them? No, Kyle, my brother pissed the bed bad. So this our man, clothes, man. we had to share a room. I don't care. We had to share a room. So our clothes would just be mixed up in the laundry basket. I'm telling. So his pissy shit <laughs> is in the laundry basket. And I go, my jeans is in, in there. So I grab my jeans. Like, my jeans is not fucked up. They cool. Not thinking. Like, the whole room smells like piss because we sh- piss in the bed. I can't smell this shit leaving school. That's so crazy. I put them on. So this is homeroom. This shit is happening. I can't great. go home. Room, you in high school? You in middle school? Oh, y'all couldn't, middle catch school. Bus, y'all couldn't catch middle the bus school. home. Oh, I could have left school. Nigga. I, I'm saying to myself, I dropped that pencil off that desk. This smell of these fucking jeans. I'm like, oh my Damn. fucking God. Nigga, you I had to I, yo, I, every fuck through school. What you do? Every class, I was trying to get the desk That's all the way at the back of the classroom. I'm sitting here today. Ain't got no assigned seats. I'm sitting here. All the way in the back. Trying to stay away from everybody. Like, this nigga. I was so tight, but it was my fault. It was like, yo, she just wear them ugly ass, goofy ass jeans instead of trying to be cool today. You no, know, these jeans is in the laundry basket. Your mom ain't go to the laundry mat yet. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, smell like piss. you thought you was looking good, but you yeah. was smelling bad. <laughs> yeah, you learned something very valuable. You learned something valuable that day, buddy. Sorry. Yo. You learned something valuable. Make sure Yo, your nose is clean. What's worse, that or mildew? Yo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, that mildew smells <laughs> terrible, man. That mildew, a bad mildew will have you, you Ugh. know, but it's it's both the same. I think piss might be worse, but if you smell like mildew, you're <laughs> cow was pissy. <laughs> you're you're you, you in trouble either way. Watch yo. your damn clothes. Watch hey, your yo. clothes. <laughs> oh nigga, hey, yo. I, my mom is with my mom. Like we didn't have a fucking uh nigga, we didn't even have a with the house I live hey, at, yo. we have Nigga, we barely had running water in that motherfucker. Like, they had no goddamn washing machine in the crib. I mean, what can you do in that situation? I think you just got to wear it. You just have to wear them. And then if niggas say, what smells like piss? You have to sniff around and say, you right. Something do smell like piss. It's stink. Yeah, unless unless you're not the one. Unless they smell it you, in every class you in. Next thing they know, they, <laughs> they like, either I smell like piss, nigga, or you smell like piss. And, and I then, know I don't smell like No, piss. you convince them that they smell like piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. they would have been fighting. Yo, I, was so, is, I was so tight. Yo, before Kev like, had night school, so you know that if somebody had approached Kev and told him that he smelled like piss, night school would have started right then. <laughs> 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 Immediately, <laughs> nigga, we start fucking niggas up. Oh, man. While smelling like, like piss, every single classroom. While doing the thing that they accuse you of, smelling when like get yo. home, he fighting his brother. <laughs> yo, I was mad. Yeah. I was tight at this nigga, man. Like no, I was like, yo, we can't you. share. Look in the we mirror. can't share rooms no more. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Look I sleep with the little kids. I ain't sleeping in a room with this nigga no more. Like I would, I would have to say that literally never happened to me in the in the crazy never. It's only happened one time to what? me. I used to go to my mom's house when, when I was younger. We'd have uh my mom would have like big ass sleepovers. So all the cousins would come through. It'd be me and my brothers there. We'd be there like 10 deep. Fire. You know, awesome shit, bro. Right. The shit was fucking dope. But there was the one cousin who 
I obviously was pissy. And we sleep in head. It's only a few beds in there because my it's brother's still was living with my mom. So we sleep in from some of us sleeping on floors. We sleep in head to bed. I mean, head head to foot on beds. Head to bed you know crazy. what I mean? And and you wake up and the bed is just soaked. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? And you I'll realize see. what's going on. That nigga gets clowned all day. But you've <laughs> technically gotten pissed on, so oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've hey. technically been pissed on. I'm about to ask y'all an embarrassing ass question when you get done with your story, but go ahead. Why are you, nah, how, go come, ahead. How, come, how come you don't answer your own questions of embarrassment? I did, and the embarrassment stems from something I did. Oh, you ever had you ever have you ever have a, a wet dream at oh, a sleepover? Yeah. Nah, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Before. It's embarrassing. You had what? Oh. Yeah, I just got up. I just got at somebody else's up. house. At somebody else's house. So oh, I, yeah, that's oh. see. So I just got up and ran to the bathroom and tried to clean my shit as best as I possibly can. Hell so, yeah. What about exactly. that? Now nah, you gotta explain the detail. That shit wasn't detailed enough. Explaining. You gotta explain how you woke up all that shit. Freak <laughs> ass nigga. I don't want to hear the no, freak ass nigga. Detail. I don't like the way you. I don't like. I don't like what you like. Oh. I don't like that. Nah, nigga. I don't like what you like. Cause I know you woke up. Yo, was y'all niggas? Was you sleeping in the same bed with the niggas when you had this dream? Oh, I wasn't sleeping in the same bed. I was just. Oh. At, I was just there. Yeah, I know. I was just there, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> It was just embarrassing because you don't want nobody to know what you did. Parents come in to wash the sheets and they're like, what the fuck yeah. is going on in here? So, <laughs> so look, I'm going to be honest though. Luckily, I'm in a position where, like I slept in a position where, don't laugh, whoever that was. Somebody, I see a laughing shit come up. Don't laugh. I know it's so, neat. I wasn't one of them people. Like, I didn't sleep on my, my stomach, so I was like upright. So what I'm saying is, like it happened and I caught it. <laughs> That's facts. Like I, I caught it. So that's why I got up and ran to the bathroom. So it wasn't really no cleanup on on the on the bed on the bed on the bed on the bed on the bed. Yeah, I know that's just wild. Your butt. I can't control my body. He said there was really no cleanup. No, no, on the bed on the bed there was no cleanup. Caught it all, kid. Boxes caught it all. It caught it all because listen. He got home. Boxes was stale. He couldn't wash that shit. He had to just take a shower. I'm gonna get. I'm going to get personal, right? <laughs> Whenever I did have a wet dream, I catch it like as it's happening. Yeah, I'll let that shit ride out. <laughs> you are a freak. <laughs> let you that shit freak. ride out. That nut better than any nut I ever had in my life. A wet dream not, nut better than any dream true. you have in your life. That's not true. That's yes, how, do you, how do you know when you woke all. up? All you all you do is wake up to the to the wetness of nah, nasty. nigga. You be you be feeling. You be stroking. You be like, oh shit, this, this shit stroking. good. Hey, hey, listen, what? hey, listen. I don't have that kind of wet yeah, dream. My masturbating brother. in his sleep. Yeah, I'm not yo, masturbating. Yo, yo, so, <laughs> wet dream, y'all niggas be having. Y'all just be standing around, just what start doing yourself. Dream? I don't know what so, what happens in my sleep, Kev. I know I ain't stroking myself. I know I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not stroking. I'm stroking somebody else in my dream. Like I think I had a wet dream with like Paula had dude before. I was hit that shit from Hear the him. back. That yeah. shit felt so good. Nigga. All right, I get that. I get that because I'm like, it's, oh shit. What, okay, what was you like? Eleven. It's, 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 your, Abdul. it's your dream <laughs> so it's not like you're doing that's what i'm trying to say so the dream the the stuff that's happening in your dream makes you do it you're not stroking the bed <laughs> and then you bust a nut it's not the same type nah. so as i'm having it and i know what's happening i'm able to get up in the middle of it but it's coming out <laughs> So that's why I said it doesn't hit the bed. It didn't hit the bed. He woke up. I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> and nigga moaning as he wake up. Kev. That's not true. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm the only one that look. You asked me why do yeah, I answer my I'm own just, shit. I'm just I'm imagining. Exactly. I'm just imagining the little boy that's next to him Don't who's wait when his he's turned over and he hears Drake behind him. He's I just, told you that I was in the bed by myself. <laughs> By myself, all right. I ain't having no. He in the bed next to you, like in a different, in a separate bed. But he's you sleeping. It's like two twin sets. You on one side of a two on a different twin set. He on the other, but he's got his back to you. He can just hear you go. Uh, uh. He's like, 
That's y'all niggas, mo- yeah. so y'all niggas be moaning. That's what Kev said. Y'all used to moan. <laughs> Wake up out your sleep, catch it Loaded. in the middle. Uh, uh. Y'all used to moan when y'all would have wet dreams. Nobody about wet I don't dreams. know because I stayed asleep. Yeah, I, that's crazy. You wake up. <laughs> You wake up I wake up at the end. Like, I wake up like, damn. Bro, since <laughs> so since I was sticky. a kid, since I was Dre a kid, always wake up in the climax. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what it was. Like when I was a kid, that's what happened. I would wake up and like as it's happening. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know yeah. what's freakier, Kev. Want to know the details? To sleep and want to know the details of <laughs> when Dre waking up to finish. <laughs> no, uh, waking up, running to the running to the bathroom, nigga. Uh. You. Woke up in mid sprint. I need nigga, this. that is what you I gotta understand. Nigga, what, niggas don't understand. Uh, That's the worst cleanup you gotta clean up is a wet dream, nigga. You gotta look you for your box and you mad sticky. You then gotta you gotta run this shower awkwardly in the middle of the night so exactly. nobody hears you. I, nah, nigga, I just clean up real good. I don't take a shower yet. Nah, I take a shower, dog. I, just, I'm like, I, get, I wipe everything off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a kid, so you just, you grabbing your regular washcloth and wipe it off. <laughs> You just do a crazy shit. <laughs> that shit don't go nowhere. It should be all awesome. the time. Throw your underwear. Throw your underwear, <laughs> throw your underwear somewhere. Nobody can find them. Oh, out man. the window. <laughs> man, throw them shits way underneath the bed. All in the back of the corner of the bed. Shit. Let me Nobody ask find these underwear. Got a wardrobe under his bed. A whole wardrobe of all frozen, looking frozen. <laughs> Sis is all stiff. Yo, he pull it out. It's in one big clump. Pull it out with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta you gotta break that shit in half to wash it. <laughs> Come on, pull it out, you chisel and close apart. <laughs> Yo. That shit Yo, we'll- sound like you stepping on a bag of ruffles, nigga. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what was y'all doing in 94? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 94. Man. And then I'm going to ask you about 2004. Paula Abdul dreams. <laughs> Yo, straight up. <laughs> Paula Abdul was my shit. The Paula Abdul was my go-to in the dream. Damn, yeah, I pray to have a dream. Dancing with, like with a rabbit or a cat or some shit like yeah, that. MC Scat Cat. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> don't tell me that you're a... Wherever that song goes. Yeah, you were singing oh, oh. it. I was just singing that shit, yeah. Singing. Yeah, her, between her and motherfucking Janet Jackson. Yeah, Those niggas, is like my two crushes, dog, back in the day. They don't talk about Janet Jackson enough when it came to no. uh, crushes. Mm, they don't talk uh, about her enough, bro. In, in 94, oh, you nigga. said going back to 94. In 94, psh, Jen, nigga. nigga. Janet? Yeah, Janet. Nigga. Janet. Yeah. Whitley. Yeah. Whitley from fucking... Uh, was, oh, uh, from, from um, what's the fuck of that show called? Um, different Damn college show. show. Different world. Different world. That was, that was my crush back then, too. Mm. Yeah. I think niggas just had like because they was big on light skinned chicks back then. Like it was always light skinned motherfuckers. Nah, I like no, I like no I still am. I said, oh, you still are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kev just went. Kev, Kev just went. He said he went past the light skin. You said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go all in and go white." <laughs> 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 Give me the lightest skin there is. I want my shit Nordic. <laughs> Damn, nigga, how old are you? He's 12 and 94. Nah, how old is that 94? <laughs> Damn, I'm 12 to a 94. <laughs> I shit, can't wait all today, yo. Wow, Raven Rare Simone. Form. Okay, all right. She yeah, was a dog. little younger. Yeah, baby. I did. She was Raven, when she was baby. on that so Raven, I'm like, all right, cool. I can see that. Cosby show. That's when you liked her? Nah, hell nah. She was a kid. I was on. <laughs> I was at. I was a. Uh, what's the name? Rudy, nigga. Nigga, Rudy was the shit on Cosby oh, Show back in the day. I still fuck with Rudy. Oh. Dog, I remember watching Cosby Show eating canned sardines and crackers. That was the only thing in the crib at this time. <laughs> we get it. You were poor. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nigga, you ain't never eat sardines poor. and crackers, nigga. No, nah, a little orange I, mustard and sardine, Joe, that little. Nah, on, but nigga. I ate some. I, nah, but I ate poor people food. I, I, I'm, I'm with you though. I've, I've, I have. I've never eaten sardines because I've never liked the smell. No. I never liked fish in a can. I've nigga. never. I've ordered them one time on pizza, and my mom was like, "You sure?" And I said, "Nah, nigga, the Ninja <laughs> Turtles be getting this shit all the time." I need to wait. No, that's anchovies. That's anchovies. That's anchovies. That's anchovies. Yeah, anchovies. Yeah, anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did a Ninja Turtle move, nigga. Yeah, it just was disgusting. <laughs> I got anchovies on the pizza one time, 
And my mom was like, you sure? Like, she'll tell you to this day. She'll be like, you sure? That shit don't taste good. I'm like, nah, Leonardo and them. Yeah, nah. It was not the deal. Yo, think about how fucking cheesy the Ninja Turtles was back in the 90s, but that was the most fire cartoon. Them niggas never used their weapon on nobody. They was hitting sewer lids, fire hydrants, just throwing niggas. There wasn't no fight, no fist was ever thrown. I'm watching old cartoons. Like I was watching the old X-Men, a Wolverine and Saber 2 fighting. When I seen that shit as a kid, that was the most litest fight ever when, when fucking Wolverine was fighting Sabretooth and, and I think Gene Gray came in there, stopped him from killing him and his healing factors didn't work because he got cut in the chest or some shit like that. Just think about the nerd out. But re <laughs> yo, 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 think about how, yo, the Professor X came. Do y'all remember that episode, right next to him. Do you remember that episode, though, No! Right? I don't fucking you don't, remember you that don't goddamn remember episode. remember episode where Wolverine and Sabretooth was fighting Nigga, no. I... I rewatched that shit as an adult, like <laughs> having like flashbacks as a kid, like, oh shit, this is the I'm watching it on Facebook. Like, oh shit, this is the Wolverine and Sabretooth fight. This I remember this shit, shit was lit as a kid. These niggas was literally wrestling and just pushing each other the whole fucking time. Yeah, I'm mean, like, they were cartoons. I was so hyped about this bullshit. Even in the Ninja Turtle movie, you didn't you would never see Raphael hit somebody with the tip no the first one the first one you did the first one having people he wasn't with the slicing crazy. people with the swords they might have hit somebody with the nunchucks or hit somebody with the bow staff but then yeah, they cut shredder on his arm they were blocking other weapons with their weapons and kicking Leonardo. them or punching Leonardo them. cut shredder on his fucking arm on the that roof was the only fighting. cut of the whole movie yeah but they was fighting though they was kicking niggas they were the dropping movie, niggas. the only cut of the whole movie the like only, was, only other time that you've seen blood is when he was punching uh uh punching the rat when he was tied up nah when they beat the cab when they beat Raphael up on the roof that. nigga fucked up was punching that fucking his ass nah. up <laughs> oh they did fuck split her up on the gate but they fucked fuck Raphael ass up on that roof blood. they was holding that nigga sneaking that nigga like Ugh, hold that nigga head telling you that hurt my feelings even when even when even when the big homie Raph fell through the damn ceiling, <laughs> he, you know what I mean? he picked his ass up, he wasn't even bleeding. <laughs> he just Listen, dog, but dog it just, think about this shit. How crazy you gotta be to be fighting a fucking six foot turtle. <laughs> 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 Nigga, those yo, wait, wait, and they didn't think that shit was weird at all. <laughs> like, yo, yo, the Foot Clan, yo, we need y'all to fight these big ass turtles, radioactive fucking turtles. <laughs> niggas ain't niggas ain't even ass like like uh what? No, why? Nigga, is they aliens? Is it like what am I supposed to do with these niggas? Clearly, they're not of this world or something, and they can fuck me up. <laughs> And they can fight, and they know karate. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> They're ninjas, <laughs> and they were trained by. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You telling me that these niggas was trained by a big ass rat? Big sewer rat, nigga. Yo, I would have turned in my reg- yo. I would have turned in my resignation letter that day. Hey man, I resigned as a Foot Clan. Yeah, Listen, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, <laughs> but I'm not fighting no six foot. Four of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, and wait. They leader a rat? In the no. rat like 5'10"? Nah, man. But nah. thing, you see the turtles was muscled up too. They had the muscle like, yo, nigga. I would have been, I would have seen that nigga on the roof. I would have stopped everybody like, hold up, nigga. That's a big fucking turtle, nigga. Like, that's a big muscle fucking turtle. That I'm not, ain't nobody got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Did these yeah, just shoot the fucking the six foot turtle, the- bro. <laughs> shoot this nigga. <laughs> Nobody had a gun to fight this big ass turtle. Wait, none of y'all niggas got. Wait, wait. You mean to tell me y'all niggas got chains? Y'all niggas got fucking uh all these weapons. None of y'all niggas got guns. It's a six foot turtle, and it's four of them niggas. Get the chopper, nigga. Get the chopper in New York. At that in New York, um, these niggas can't ride. They got their own van. You gonna let these niggas roll up in the van? We don't know what the fuck they got in there. And the bitch with a yellow suit driving that shit, dog. Shoot these <laughs> niggas, bro. <Exactly. laughs> shoot them. 
That's what I'm saying. Like nobody, nobody thought to question that shit. Nobody thought to question the fight in the giant fucking turtle. Nobody really stopped. Everybody said, "Hold the fuck up." And they let a nigga with a hockey mask come to just start fucking people up, dog. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving. I'm moving away. Get the fuck out of New York, dog. This shit wild, son. Creating their own monsters. And you're like, yo, hold up now. We in here, nigga. When they created, was it God. Razor and what's that shit that that, that fucking werewolf? I'd have left. My That's nigga, I'd have got, I'd have been easy to the exit. I'd have left. I'd have got me a regular ass job. Niggas like, why you work here now? Like, man, you wouldn't even believe I told you. It was it was a brain in a fucking uh, it was a brain in a fucking big ass giant mannequin that we don't talk about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that I was a diaper. Crang. I guess that yeah. I guess that shit was uh normal. Them niggas was in. Bizarro world or some shit. Nah, nah. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, just saying. saying like that shit had to be weird as fuck. Like uh, when I seen turtles as a kid, I'm like, I was scared, but I'm like, but now as an adult, I'm saying to myself, like, I'd be scared as an adult if I had to go up on the roof. I get it, it's twelve of us niggas, but this is a turtle. Like niggas fighting four Jada kisses. <laughs> 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 and, they're, and they're good at ninja and like this thing is good at rapping like you gotta you gotta defend yourself against a jada kiss you know what i'm saying like these things like ninja skills nah fuck that uh, <laughs> hey yo all right uh, i'm oh. saying it's never too deep you gotta think about the shit you watch as a kid this shit was ridiculous oh shit oh I'm just saying that shit is man that shit is that shit is wild man but yeah, Fucking turtles, crazy. turtles back in the 80s, they didn't they the cartoon turtles, nobody got beat up. Niggas was just getting oh. tossed. It was you just happy to watch this shit. It was like that for all the cartoons because ain't nobody ever died in X-Men. Everybody just lived forever, no matter what they went through. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Morph kind of yeah, morph. Yeah, he kind of he did die. He, he kind of died, died yeah, and then he got brought back to life. But that too, G.I. Joe. I was watching G.I. Oh, Joe. Shit. I'm looking. I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, God damn. It's a lot of lasers getting shot around and ain't nobody get hit yet. Like, God damn. Like, these niggas, what they just fucking all Ray Charles out that bitch? Like, don't nobody use the aim? Nigga just hitting the X button, just just running out there, Dog. hoping they hit something. I mean, and they was our, aren't they the army? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our army? They the elite, though. They the elite army. The fucking the elite, elite, elite. green berets just out there just missing everything, <laughs> fighting the fucking never mind. Because I'm about to tell the same jokes as I did about the turtles. Yeah, fight the giant snake, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Giant this, snake, nigga. A nigga who called himself Cobra. No one ever has we ever seen King Cobra's or not? Is it King Cobra? What's his Cobra, name? Cobra Cobra Command. That nigga had a silver mask. Has on. we that ever nigga, seen this face? Ah, uh, that nigga never took his mask off. Yeah, that nigga was anybody. And I would not be afraid as a regular soldier with a nigga with a voice like that. All right, let's move on. Crazy with this. Oh yeah, man. Just, it's New Year's. We just having fun, man. It's just, it's just we just wanted to bring some laughter in, man. It's about to wrap this shit up anyway. Oh and shit, it's, like, it has been almost an hour. I haven't realized that. Cause nigga, we in this bit, we just in this bitch laughing about the silly shit, like just, just, just silly shit. I, never uh, that these bro. kids, I don't think, I think our kids would never be able to have moments like this in their life because they're just too busy stuck in the room on a computer or some shit or on the phone. Um, yeah, I do. I feel sorry for where everything is going. It's it's, it's yeah. pretty bad. Um, yeah. Let me ask y'all a question, and uh, I'll answer as well. What? Do you plan on doing differently this year? Coming this coming year. What do you plan on doing differently? I, bro, I don't I don't know. Um any if I'm nothing switching. nothing can be an answer. Yeah, but no, I I'm bro, I, I think go ahead, Kev. You go first. I'm trying to spend more time with the family. I'm I normally work at night, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to get that switch to some daytime shit. I've already tried to put the pieces of motion so I can oh, have sorry. a little bit more time at home and you know do things with the kids normally when I'm awake everybody else is asleep everything else is closed and I'm asleep when everything opens so <clears throat> switch it around try to help that 
part of aspect of my life uh get a little bit more definitely try to make some more money you know what i mean build up build up the business better all that shit, you know what i mean change change the financial situation of where we are at even between us three you know what i mean try to big up all of us so that's i want y'all to come, i want y'all to come see me this year but go ahead yeah i'm coming see yeah. you this year that we're ass, supposed to be time. doing i'm about to say ain't we supposed to be well jay's supposed to be coming up here next month ain't he I gotta fly. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly down there. Next tickets, month. Tickets, tickets ain't, ain't bad. You talking about the DR? <clears throat> no. Oh, I'm about to that's say, please don't tell me that's next month. Oh, that's that's in March. Yeah, I'm about to say, nigga, I ain't got it. We're trying yeah, to get Julian um, Marlow John. Yeah, but I'm gonna be. Um, oh yeah, think, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that. I'm just gonna be, you know, be a better man than I was last year. I ain't ain't nothing, man. Isn't I hate when people wait to the new year to change their life. I mean. You should be doing that. I think you should be doing that shit every day. Every day you should be reevaluating yourself and being a better person that you was the day before. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Be more of an active dad, but I've been doing that. So being even more active in my kids' life and um starting starting to get their future set, man. So, you know, they don't have to Some ever kids. go through anything I've been through or 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 you know lack had the lack of their you know my mom like I said my mom did but she she always tells us she always said I did I got what y'all what y'all needed not what y'all maybe not everything y'all wanted but y'all had everything y'all needed yeah. so yeah you know what I mean I'm able to get every kid I'm able right now to give my kids everything they need and um and also have a more of an ability to get some of the shit they want so that's all when the gauntlet over the gauntlet oh the gauntlet is is over i got i'm in the last phase of the gauntlet january uh that's the january 27th is the last day of the gauntlet man from september if nobody knows from september to january i got a birthday every month four i got uh three birthdays in a month of december plus christmas that's crazy yeah so the gauntlet is the gauntlet is ending in january and that's it i'm done with that shit then uh and then it's fuck dad mode for his birthday. I'm joking, but I'm serious. All right. I was wondering where that was. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, what? Nah, nah, they, nah, my birthday coming around, niggas forget. And my wife remembers, but my kids be like, oh shit, today, today's your birthday, dad? I'm like, yeah. Listen, I'm going I'm to I'm be Sorry. honest with you, bro. Give it, like, when they get older, they're always going to be there for you, for you. All that shit you're doing right now. They're going to remember your birthday. And if, right now, they're selfish-ass kids. But when they get yeah. older, they're going to always remember your birthday and be around. Trust me. Yeah, yeah I know. They're going, they're going to feel crazy if they don't. Like, oh, shit, I almost forgot my dad's birthday. Let me call them. Let me go over there and check them out. Because that's the kind of environment you you breed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so they're what, just asshole kids right now. That's yeah, so. all. So what you doing better, Dre, this year? I'm going to try to, I'm going to, try to make myself uncomfortable more. Mm. Which I've already said a bunch of times, and I'm doing it now. But I'm going to try to make myself uncomfortable. I'm not going to run away from a from from a being uncomfortable. I'm not going to run away. I have, but I'm not anymore. So like all this shit that make me uncomfortable, I'm gonna do it, mm. no matter how uncomfortable it makes me. Also, um, I'm turning forty this year. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm turning forty. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I talked to my mom about it the other day. Now I want to have a. I, I was thinking about having a party but in Florida well I was going to come yeah. up there and have a party because most of the people I know are up there All right. so I wanted to have a party and I wanted to kind of invite all the people that I you know I don't know who's going to come I know y'all niggas yeah. um, but like I wanted to invite pe I went to three high schools I wanted to invite people that I still know but I kind of wanted to make it a 2000 theme something I was thinking oh yeah that'd be, dope, that's that'd be fire shit yeah. That's when we all knew each other. Well, I want to make right. sure I can get people to come if I do that. And I really wanted to, I want to have a good time with it. I want to play, get a DJ to play all 2000s music. That's what if I'm you thinking. Build it, they will come. Give it to me, Dre. I'll handle this shit. I nah, you're terrible you. at it. Yeah. So he's gonna, he's gonna play music from his phone. I know. Nah. I, would have a I, would have, I would have a DJ. Oh man, fuck but you. <laughs> no, but you could contribute, you would contribute <laughs> to this to the set list. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. I'm definitely going on vacation with my wife, so that's that's that's, that's definitely gonna happen. But in addition to, I was going to maybe throw a, a birthday party. I I never had parties bash. for myself. Never birthday bash. Two thousand uh, birthday bash, dog. That'd 40, be fire. 
yeah, mad people I know turning 40, mad people I went to school with. So anybody from Prep Charter, y'all don't know, but Prep Charter, um, all y'all old motherfuckers that went to school with me there, everybody from Lincoln that I fuck with, and niggas from, from uh, Winslow. And like, yo, let's, let's go back to the 2000s for a night. Mm. Bringing in the knot, yo, how you got to drop the party? Just come on with the juvenile. Yeah. Right off the rip. Yeah. We can even wear the clothes. Oh, we are going to wear the clothes. Kevin will break out his jabos. Got to break out his jabos. I still got some jabo jeans that I work in. I do like work around the house. In. Yo, if we do that, and I'm going to let y'all go. If we do that, what should we have the girls? What should we tell the girls to wear? The Chinese slippers. Nah, bro. No, nah, that was not. That was 2000. It's the I, summertime. I, I know, but that's ass. Come on. Give me a better one. Come on, dog. Okay. What did you remember chicks with in the 2000s? They had the... Uh, now, we, now we talking. You hear what I did? Go ahead. Mm. Oh, they had them. You remember they used to wear the little, the half of t-shirts, the little oh, half huh? of t-shirts. Did they wear baggy jeans back then? The girls? They nah, did. Them shits was tight. I remember because them shits was looking right back then. Tight the, jeans. Oh, jersey dresses. See, there now, you go. Now, see, now you cooking <laughs> with grease, my nigga. Jersey there dresses. You go. Chicks had some bad jersey Lord dresses. Suits. On yeah. Let's they see. had the velour sweatsuits. Jersey oh, dresses. Did. Jersey oh, dresses, Coogee dresses. Oh, oh, they did. Yo, somebody pull just... up in that, they win. I'm giving out content. Yo, and I want to do a contest. See, now we talking. I want to do a contest. Best, the best outfit wins a hundred dollars. I don't fucking know. I gotta get people to come. You know, people don't come to shit. I don't throw nothing, but people don't really be checking for me. So I, I would really like. Oh, bro, I know I'll handle your shit for you, dog. I'll get you. I, I, I'll, I'll give them to come. You gonna, have a... you gonna threaten? You gonna threaten? I ain't gonna threaten him, dog. I Dre, it, no. <laughs> did you see my? Did you see my nineties <laughs> party? Did you see my nineties barbecue party that well, I? Had? I know, but are you gonna get my people I know to come? No, I'm going. I know go. you can get people you know to come. I'm talking people I know. Neighborhoods nah, gonna come. I, I, the people that the people in Philly. I told you people show up, Dre. I don't the know. The people in Philly, is. like that'll be hard for me. Maybe I get. Link up with one of your cousins or somebody, your homies. They don't know him. I'm get... the only one that know everybody. You gotta go through me to get them. <laughs> <laughs> I can get your wins. Like your wins on side, your wins on your jersey party, side, nigga. Give you the list. Your jersey side, nigga. I'll would... make sure yes. that's lit for you. I, I have, have your jersey yeah. side. I have this side of the bridge. Please. I have it packed out for you, dog. I might I might start running that. I might start. So I'm gonna get with my wife and see if that's something because I'm gonna fly up there and yeah, everybody come through. It's my 40th. It's gonna be at a. It's probably gonna be at a, a spot where everybody can get to and two thousands early two thousands party. I think that'd be dope. Yeah. Let me know oh, if it's yeah. trash. I'm looking forward. I'm getting me a. I'm getting me a fucking. Give me some Air Force happen. ones. Give me some big ass Jabo shorts. You got them already. I know you got them in your closet. I don't have no shorts. Give me a nine X white tee and get me a headband. Nigga. I'm with me a Nike headband, dog. Niggas had the Nike cloth headband. Stop lying. I did. Say you did. I got pic I got pictures with it on with the <laughs> exactly. Nike jaw. Yeah, nigga. Niggas me and Raheem. Yep, y'all do. Listen, me and Kev got, I think, got pictures with the hats. It's like 16 sizes too big for our heads. <laughs> Yo, I think we can have a great time. I might put that out there, y'all. I might actually put that out there and see if niggas will come. I, I, I might do it. I might do it. This sounds like Dre. a good time, man. There's a bunch of old niggas dressed up like we wasn't our youth. As soon as, soon as they play 112 anywhere, it's over. I'm going yeah. to have to fucking stiff arm my wife. I'm, let me find one of these old bitches, <laughs> old bitches I used to go to school with to get, to, to get my shit on. <laughs> yeah, old, yeah. Listen, I'm niggas going to be in there. Uh, <laughs> stiff arming your wife, you go, I'm going to end up broken. I'll tell you that. Shit don't yeah. dance. So I'm going to find me a fucking bitch that. Yo, yo, you remember the song? Hands off me. <laughs> Shit. Listen, but that's listen Dre. Get some jean print. Get some jean prints on the wall from being on the wall, having chicks grinding on you. <laughs> listen. Wait, what? You remember them old school house parties? Them shits had jean prints on everybody wall. Niggas just on the wall, just grinding. The book of Kev. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Nick, come on, Dre. Every hey, time, every time he say some shit that only applies to him, I'm gonna say the book of Kev. <laughs> Niggas, Kev. Kev. Shut up, it's Kev. The Kev Goofy <laughs> has played the wall too. He played the wall. I don't on the wall. Damn he the the wall. <laughs> come on now, <laughs> nigga. Niggas played the wall, nigga. If you I left jean prints when you got home, were there wall prints on your jeans? <laughs> 
me out, man. I gotta take a shit. Let me get off this shit, man. Wait, no, no, there's something in the toilet. <laughs> they wanna bite your balls off. <laughs> It's a game. It's a gay monster in the toilet. Mm, those are yummy balls. Balls. It's a gay monster. <laughs> All right. Fuck. I'm hot. So, yeah, I'm hot. These lights are burning. Oh. Up. Yeah, we out, man.